Neve Connell, manager Martin Regan, Kilku 2 11. Neve Connell 2 9. How do you assess that one? Ah, it's a difficult one to stomach now. It's I suppose coming into the game today, we felt we were a bit as good as Kilku, and that's one we'll, we'll, we'll look back on in the next few weeks and feel we possibly could have done better and we could have, may have left this one behind us because. I think the first half forms particularly that middle 15 minutes in the first half we we really switched off so we did we coughed off a lot or a lot of possession in the forward line and maybe slow tracking runners and defensively and they just got a run on us and they got scores but look at they're a good team they're a quality team there's no dispute in that we knew we'd have our hands full with them today but there probably is aspects of our performance we feel we could have improved on yeah, Kalku were much the better team at half time and you know all about it you've been around a long time but you got those two goals later on and the half Martin and only went in one time one point down at half time you were probably in a weird way probably a little bit relieved at half time that it possibly could have been more Oh, there should have been more definitely we, we weren't within one point of them in that first half definitely not we got the goals at the right time just to give, give us a bit of a lifeline at half time because really for that first half they, they really were six seven points better than us and there's no, no doubt in that and we were delighted to get to half time to try and get things organised and get our shape back again because we should have been more than the point down but again we came out in the second half and we still started poorly you know we don't so well to get back to a point and we let that slip within three four minutes of the second half we were chasing the game again we were three or four down again and throughout the game I felt we were just always chasing it and we never had control of that game at all It's hard sometimes though Martin Manus Boyle was in co-commentary with me it happens pretty much Every and every every championship, whether it's club or county, Kilku in a strange way were written off coming into this by a lot of people because people felt they were poor against Derry Gonnelly and Eve Connell were so good against Clon Tibbert and we see how good Kilku are. They've been knocking on the door for a long time and some of the stuff written about them was actually nonsense. You're probably surprised at that yourself. Ah yes, yeah, it's, it's not something we would have talked about now coming into the game that we we knew Kilku were a quality outfit. Look, you don't you don't make three Ulster titles in ten years without being a good team and. I don't know, favourites tags, it's, it really means nothing. That's going right back to our semi final, final. It doesn't mean anything. We would have known, we would have talked about that for years that if we're not at the level, any team can beat us. So it's, I don't know, maybe Kilku used it as motivation or anything like that there, but we certainly didn't get ahead of ourselves coming into today. Martin really has been a snapshot of your year. You trailed by seven in the first half. You got those two goals. You trailed by six in the second half and some character there. They bounced, your boys bounced off five points out of six. Some, some character. And really that's just been the story of 2019. Yeah, I suppose the disappointing aspect is that we put ourselves in that position today that we really should never have fallen so far behind. And yeah, they, they dug deep and they tried their best to come back, but we just couldn't get close enough really today. Finally, Martin, I want to let you go. I know your young daughter wants you to go out the back with her, but it's too early probably to reflect on, on what has been a phenomenal year for you. Because remember, and we said this on many, many podcasts, nobody thought Neve Connell were even going to come out of Donegal this year. And no doubt those boys have done you so, so proud. Ah, uh, they have. Look, at if we were beating a semi-final in a goal, we were beating a final, I still couldn't be more proud of them. The, yeah. That's not just since we won Donegal that I'm proud of them for the effort they put in all year. They're, they're a great bunch of lads and no doubt they'll come back hungry again next year.